Hi everybody, Jeff Hemmelt with SFMSports.net here with head coach Andrew Bordelon after a scoreless tie between Stevenson and Roanoke. And coach, overall it was a pretty uh, offensive game. 22 shots for the visitors compared to just five for uh, you guys in the in the Stevenson camp. But um, it was pretty even through that first half. Um, give me a sense of what the team was, was going through and what you were talking about at the halftime break. Yeah, you know, I think that the stats of, of shots can be deceiving yeah. at times. Um, they, they definitely had more opportunities. I, but, you know, I think defensively we stopped a lot of quality, quality chances or shots, and, and that's a credit to Mike and the back four, especially a back four that have been injured and haven't played a whole lot of games either. Um, huge credit to them for stepping up against a very, very good Roanoke team. Um, you know, I think at, at halftime we were all still pretty confident. I thought we still had the best chance of the first half. JT, I thought, got in and, and, and had a great chance. Um, we weren't able to finish it, but... But um, the, the guys were confident. I, in the last 10 minutes of the first half, we were playing much better. Mm -hmm. So, um, Second half comes along. Um, a couple chances uh, hit off the crossbar for, for their side. You guys are sticking in the game. Um, go a little bit more into detail about uh, Mike Tringali, because he made a dozen saves tonight for you guys, helping out that back line, keeping the game scoreless as you head into overtime. Yeah, you know, Mike, of course, and he, he made the saves again like he always does. But I think one of the impressive things was, was his leadership and, and him talking to Nick Ellis and JT, Aleem, um, and Kat back there. We, he really, his leadership, this game he didn't have to make as many um, really, really tough or impossible right. saves where he was, you know, he, the, we kept the quality of shots yeah. at, a, at a minimum. So I think that's from his leadership as well. So all the stuff that he could make saves, we weren't, they weren't having breakaways right. and different things like that. So we were able to protect him a little bit. So this four game homestand wraps up, your non-conference schedule is done. Now you're looking ahead to the conference schedule. Give me a sense of what you're looking to improve here as the conference schedule gets underway. I think the big part for us today was well, defensively we're good. Um, our midfielders put in a good shift. I think, and again, attacking third, something we need to work on. Um, creating quality scoring chances and things like that. We talked about it before today's game. Um, we saw the movements and we saw the ideas um, start to work, but the execution wasn't there. So hopefully, you know, building on that and where we're able to execute in the attacking third, I think that's the next step of, of our progression. Well, Coach, on a personal note, I'm wrapping up my broadcasting uh, career here with oh, Stevenson no. five years. Um, I know it's been a brief time uh, with you, but uh, again, best of luck for the conference schedule. Best of luck the rest of the way. Uh, it's been good knowing you in this brief yeah. time. Um, keep up the good work, and uh, best of luck for you guys in the second half. Oh, Appreciate the you. time. Thank you. Best of luck to you, too. Thanks a lot. All right. Coach Andrew Bordelon here after the Mustangs have a scoreless tie against Roanoke here at Mustang Stadium.